So, when it comes to starting any creative project, especially in the web industry, references are one of the key components of the foundation of the project. References are examples or pieces of inspiration that help to define your vision for the website. So, for example, you might see a really nice page transition, or some super fluid motion, or just a really good layout. Whatever it may be, these become your references for when you start designing and building your own website. You look back at them, analyze them, and figure out how to use the same concepts to benefit your own work. So when I first had the idea to build a new portfolio site, especially an award-winning one, I knew I was going to need an extensive reference collection. So I started searching social media and awards.com and I managed to collect over 50 creative and creative dev portfolios. I figured that someone out there would find it useful if I shared some of these, so today I'll be going over and rapidly analyzing about 5 of these websites just to see what makes them so good. So let's get into it. Number 1. Aristide Benoit So this is one of the simplest and smoothest portfolios I've ever seen. And it makes sense. Aristide Benoit has won awards independent of the year like three times, but his portfolio isn't super flashy or intense. His site is centered around navigation rather than telling a story or throwing a whole bunch of different concepts together. Something that really stands out here is intuitiveness. When I'm using the website, it feels as if every detail and movement has been thought of, almost like the website is predicting my next move. The navigation works with keyboard, mouse dragging, trackpad scrolling, and probably brain waves to deliver intuitiveness that makes this one of the smoothest portfolio presentations on the web. Number 2. Boy Fan So I chose this portfolio to highlight uniqueness. Everything here is giving you an insight into Hoi's personality. From fun animated illustrations to this edgy typeface here in the center, nothing seems to be quite standard. Now that can be harmful if done the wrong way, but in this case it's kept minimal and undistracting, if that's a word. He's also giving us a masterclass in layout design in this site, using that to distill a lot of information and different elements into something that's quite easy to digest. This portfolio helps to understand how to use your personality to make your portfolio unique. Number 3. Ben Mingo Ben Mingo is not a web developer, he's a designer. But when I found his website, it seemed to stick in my head for a bit longer than a regular design portfolio. After looking at it over and over again, I think that boils down to impact. Impact is the thing that truly puts your portfolio on another level. And if you look at this portfolio, it seems to achieve that with very little. Taking a quick glance at the site, it seems maybe overly simple but I think that works to its benefit. You go to the portfolio and you can see the work. You click on an image and you can see that image a bit bigger. And you navigate to selected work and it feels like you were already there. This website focuses on subtlety, user experiences and simplicity to create impact, making it stand out. Number 4. Bruno Arizio One of, if not my favorite portfolio at the moment. At the time of filming this, his portfolio just won award site of the day, and for good reason. In Bruno's own words, when we launched the site last year, I doubted it would be placed for site of the day. It is very simple, practical, and subtle. No splashy typography, loud animations, or anything like that. Just plain old Alvitica rendered in subtle and elegant animations by Jason Bradley. And I think that's what makes this one of my absolute favorites. The site feels like a high-end art gallery that doesn't let just anyone in. That elegance, thoughtfulness and practicality help to elevate Bruno's work, making it feel that much more refined. What we can take away from this is that creating a feeling of elegance and quality around your work can make your work seem even better. And number 5. Thomas Monovon I feel like this site is sort of similar to the first site I mentioned, while still being completely different. This site's main focus is on an infinite snapping scroll through each of Thomas's projects and on a surface level, there's not much else to see. What makes it so good though is the feeling and the thoughtfulness behind every one of these scrolls and snaps. They took the same principles used in those movements and echoed it throughout the website. So when navigating through, those subtle animations and functionalities throughout make you feel like the website knows your next move before you do. 
all of this motion works together to create a feeling of hyper responsiveness. So like the opposite feeling of using an infotainment system in a car, for example. It makes the website fun to use and encourages the viewer to stay and explore. So I know that was quick, but as you can see, with every award-winning portfolio, there's something valuable to take away from it. Taking different aspects from each of these and using them in your own way is what web design and development usually comes down to at the end of the day. By taking the time to do this, I've added the following concepts to my toolkit that can help me when building my own portfolio. 1. Navigation can turn clunkiness into intuitiveness. 2. My personality should at least be noticeable in my portfolio if I want people to really remember it. 3. Simplicity creates impact. 4. Elegance, thoughtfulness and practicality of my site all elevate my work. And 5. I can use subtle animations and functionalities to make the user feel like my site knows their next move. Cool. So if you found this valuable, you should check out the description for a longer list of the references I collected. In there will also be some sources you can go to for finding your own references. And lastly, if you want some more free resources to help you in your journey, you can check out my free newsletter, The Toolkit, right at the top of the description. Anyways, thank you for watching.